Hey Kaiju fans, Titan Alante here, with an overview on the first new major monster of the Heisei series, Biolante. Biolante. Biorante. Biolante is a tribrid kaiju made from the DNA of a human, a rose, and a Godzilla, created by Kazuki Omori and Shinichiro Kobayashi that debuted in 1989's Godzilla vs. Biolante. In her rose form, Biolante stands 85 meters tall and weighs from 60,000 to 100,000 metric tons. She stands 120 meters tall with a weight of 200,000 metric tons in her final form. Biolante's first form resembles a giant rose with a set of uneven sharp teeth at the center. She has countless vines with small mouths on the ends of them, and a glowing orange or orange-red meat sac located on her lower body. The fleshy sac, referred to as a nucleus, has many wrinkles and lines resembling a brain. Her second form thinks on more Godzilla-like traits, such as her crocodilian head and a mouth lined with many rows of teeth, paired with sharp tusks growing on the sides of her mouth. She has more vines than her first form and maintains her orange sac. She has rough skin and four stubby, root-like appendages. Biolante was originally a human and rose hybrid, genetically engineered in 1984 by Dr. Genshiro Shiragami by slicing together the DNA of his daughter, Erika Shiragami, with that of a rose bush, and later on with Godzilla cells. Godzilla vs. Biolante while working in the Middle Eastern nation of Seradia to genetically engineer a new type of plant that could survive in the Seradian deserts in order for the country to become less reliant on oil exports, a rival American company destroyed the laboratory holding some scavenged Godzilla cells from its 1984 attack, which were to be used in the new plant, killing Erika in the process. Shiragami, in an attempt to sort of resurrect his daughter, spliced some of her cells with a rose bush. In 1990, the resulting earthquake from Mount Mihara's eruption killed several of his spliced roses, sending the doctor into a panic and making him splice G-cells into a single rose so that it would become invincible. As a result, Shiragami's tribrid eventually became sentient, the Godzilla cells becoming an overpowering influence, and continued to grow until she became of interest to Godzilla. Still, Erika's consciousness survived within Biolante, though faintly. After gaining sentience following Dr. Shiragami's splicing of G-cells into the hybrid, Biolante attacked two biomajor agents that broke into Dr. Shiragami's lab on the shore of Lake Ashi. Biolante then ran out into the lake to grow, with her wailing cries drawing Godzilla to her. She battled Godzilla in her rose form, but she was overpowered. Biolante broke apart into spores of energy and floated away. Later on, Biolante reformed in her Godzilla-like final form and continued fighting Godzilla. After a long, evenly matched battle, Godzilla managed to badly wound Biolante with his atomic breath after firing it directly into the back of her mouth. Biolante broke apart into spores of energy again and flew into space, images of Erika becoming visible floating above the Earth. Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla Years later, during the events of Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, Biolante is discussed as a possible catalyst for Space Godzilla's creation. It was theorized that when Biolante ascended into space following her second battle with Godzilla, some of her cells entered a black hole, were exposed to supernova energy, and merged with crystalline organisms, evolving rapidly into Space Godzilla. Tendrils Biolante possesses tendrils that resemble spears and are capable of piercing through Godzilla's skin with relative ease plus constrict and grapple objects or creatures, as well as mouth vines. Biolante uses the stubby, root-like bases of her four main tendrils to move across the ground. Acid Sap Biolante is capable of spitting a powerful, corrosive sap from her mouth. Energy Spores Biolante is capable of breaking into a cloud of spores when she is severely wounded and moved through the air. She used this to survive both of her fights against Godzilla. Regeneration Thanks to possessing Godzilla's DNA, Biolante has extreme regenerative abilities. This ability is shown when she seemingly completely regenerated part of her head after it had been blown off by Godzilla's atomic ray. According to Dr. Shiragami, Biolante is completely immortal and cannot die due to both her regenerative capacity and ability to break apart into energy spores when wounded. Tunneling 
Biolante can ingrain her vines and tendrils and then have them rise up from the ground for the wave from her and a surprise attack. This ability is seen specifically in the PS3 and PS4 Godzilla as well as the IDW comic series Godzilla Cataclysm. In Godzilla Unleashed, Biolante has the ability to submerge her entire body underground and tunnel around, surfacing to overwhelm foes. Weaknesses in Biolante's rose form, her cellular division is abnormally affected by Godzilla's atomic ray, resulting negatively in heavy body damage. Direct blasts from the atomic breath inside of her can also prove catastrophic, as with her final battle against Godzilla. Biolante is the only monster in the Heisei series that Godzilla faces who is unable to fly in any capacity. Both Biolante's first and final forms were portrayed from the inside by suit actor Takegami Akio, also, the final form was additionally controlled by a crew of 20 people who manipulated 32 piano wires to mobilize the beast. In the 1992 manga, the Godzilla comic reads again, in one of the stories in the manga and one of Balante's strangest appearances, a group of zillions unleash King Ghidorah to try to take over the Earth. King Ghidorah begins to fly to Earth, but is stopped by Balante, who is living in space debris. During the battle between them, King Ghidorah strikes Balante with his gravity beams. Biolante absorbs the essence of its power and then becomes a plant-like King Ghidorah clone. Even with Biolante's enhancement, it is still defeated. A new Biolante called Neo Biolante also makes an appearance in the Kodansha manga, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, where she is created by Dr. Oniyama. The monster King Godzilla, an amalgamation of Godzilla, King Ghidorah, and Batra from the second volume of the Kodansha manga, can also transform his chest into a Biolante head. Biolante was intended to appear in Atari's 2004 fighting game, Godzilla Save the Earth, but was scrapped at the last minute due to licensing issues. A fully functional, playable Biolante is present in the game's data, with a complete moveset and everything. She was, however, made playable in the Wii version of the sequel, Godzilla Unleashed. That's our episode on Biolante. Thanks again for watching, subscribe for more, and we hope to see you next time.